I was hired to photograph the, the, the monument by the restoration team, so it had deteriorated quite badly over the years, especially the names on the walls surrounding it. It went through a, a long, extensive restoration. I've been an architectural photographer uh, for a good chunk of my career, but I also do fine artwork, black and white, and I kind of combine them in this, in this project. When I saw the monument, uh, it, it stopped me in my tracks, and I was moved and just uh, ended up approaching it very slowly and serenely. It's an extraordinary sight. It's an extraordinary monument. Then I was repeatedly just struck with the emotion of the place, and I would just f fall into relating and dealing with it very personally. The essence of, this, of the monument is not it's not a triumphal, we won, you know, we're the victors, you know, uh, with their guns in the air. It's very reflective and somber and, 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 and quiet, and I think that is a, still pertinent. The one figure that uh, is called Mother Canada that is almost iconic to the, to the site is, a, is an image of a woman looking down, very somber, um, She's got a, a, a headscarf on, and in her right hand, she's holding a sheaf of laurel leaves, just limp at her side. Laurel leaves are usually, you know, a sign of victory, triumph, but in this case, they're just, they're sort of meaningless. The thing that's come, I've come away from this project with is an appreciation for, for people, because it's all about people, whether it's the, the 11,200 and some names on the wall, those are all Canadian soldiers who died in, in France who have no grave. They just disappear. So it's the people that are, are the most poignant for me.